What's up guys, we are jumping back into some modded Fallout 4 with some mods that aren't really new because the mods as of late just aren't really interesting to me. So I went on Nexus and I clicked the random section and I just kept clicking it until a bunch of interesting mods came up. So I grabbed a few mods to showcase and we're going to jump into this. So the first one up is Tactical Accessory Compendium. This is a load of different headgears that have different accessories you can attach to them, like scanners, headsets, and goggles. There are multiple mods like this on Nexus, but this one is a bit different, and where this one shines is with its compatibility option that it has with the West Tech Optics mod. So you can toggle different visions like heat, night, and some others as well. And the accessories that are attached onto your mask or your helmet like the goggles they will reposition themselves from like your forehead to being placed over your eyes so, so i thought that that feature was just really cool and uh there's so many different textures and colors that you can add to these things and it just looks so good with a tricorn hat because i always love wearing like um night vision goggles on my forehead with a tricorn hat because it looks really nice so this mod is definitely a keeper for me. It's one of my favorites that I've found in a long time. Next is the Tribal T51 helmet from Fallout 2. And you can craft this at the chem bench by using a normal T51 helmet as the crafting material. So the helmet can actually be worn outside of power armor. And it has some wear to it. Like the lens is missing. Uh, one of the like breathing cords is broken. And um... You can see inside of the helmet and it makes your character bald so when you equip this helmet your hair will actually disappear and it's very noticeable because you can see clearly inside of the helmet so there's also clipping on the top of the helmet so like parts of your bald head will be clipping through and i'm not sure if this is something on my end but that clipping of the helmet just makes this mod unusable for me next is fill bottle while playing on any difficulty and so this mod does exactly what it says, but it does a bit more as well. So this will actually let you fill your empty bottles at water pumps in the settlements, either the normal ones or the ones that require power. So if you have an empty bottle, you can just walk up to the pump and then just press X on your controller to interact with it. And then you will fill your water bottle. So. Uh, I actually forgot to check to see if you can fill water bottles on any difficulty lower than survival. I actually do not play this game on any difficulty other than survival. It's like once I started playing this thing, it just instantly became my favorite. And I just didn't bother to play with anything lower than that. So next is Unpainted T-51, which is a retexture for the Unpainted T-51 power armor. It removes the green torso and makes it match the limbs. So... I have mixed feelings about the green torso on the T-51. I think it looks okay in Fallout 3 and maybe Fallout 76 as well, but not here in Fallout 4. It's just something different about it. And uh, I just decided to grab this texture because I'm trying to get some nice T-51 mods to, you know, get it on par with my T-60, you know? So this mod is actually really good. It doesn't use a plugin, uninstall if you don't like it. Next is Frost Vendor Counter Overhaul, and this is going to remodel the vendor stalls and settlements that you can build, and they will have clutter to represent the type of items that are being sold. Lots of clutter will use the retextures that you have from other mods. So if you have like modded magazines, they will show, you know, the modded magazines on display um, of the vendor stalls. So there are two different versions that you can download of this mod. There is a plugin version and there's a loose files version. So the only major difference between the two is that the plugin version adds a working light to some of the stalls. So I will say I'm not a big fan of the brown color. I rather prefer the tan. Um, I could do without the brown color, you know, but I think that this is still a great mod.
Next is T51 Reposition. And this is another mod that I'm adding to my T51 list. So this will remodel the T51 to be bigger. Um, it makes the chest bigger. It makes like the shoulders and the arms a bit bigger. And I'm not exactly sure if it shrinks the head, but the head does appear smaller with this mod. And, you know, it's kind of like a slight change, but it makes a big difference. I think like the T51 looks so much more attractive now with this mod. So I always like making my characters either really muscular and built or thick or both, you know. So I'm really a fan of this mod. And also this one, just like the other T51 mod, it doesn't use a plugin. So if you're having any problems or you just change your mind on how you feel about it, you can uninstall this mod mid playthrough. So that's all I got at the moment. I noticed I haven't been turning on Fallout 4 much lately. With the exception of that Enclave power armor that came up and got taken down real quick. So I wanted to try to balance things out and try to jump into Fallout 4 a bit more. It's just a little bit hard because the mods just aren't interesting. So if you have a mod that you think I'd be interested in or a mod that you made that you want me to showcase or anything similar to that. Uh, whether it be for Fallout 4 or any other Fallout game. Just let me know and I'll try my best to check it out. So I'm going to sign off here. And I'm going to see you all later. Thanks for watching. Take care.